I am telling you, friends. All right, friends. Uh, bar maintenance. It, it's one of those things, friends, that you have to you have to do it. It, it you're, you're gonna fight yourself. This is an old Mac bar of some kind, I think. Um, and and what you'll notice is my rails are they're they're not in trouble. It, it, you'll notice here. See, see the lines in them because I I keep them ground. That that's that's a ground rail. Okay, but what you look for is a ditch. You will see a ditch, okay? I don't, you know, this one, this one doesn't have it, friends. It, it just doesn't. See, you see that? It's because I was trying to find a bar here that, that doesn't have that. Um... Hi friends, how's everybody this evening? I hope you're well. I'm just doing a quick one here on bar maintenance. I had some questions. Um, um, there, there's a couple things you gotta look for, friends, before you just start going at your bar maintenance. Uh, some folks, uh, I used to squeeze my bar when it would get worn, friends. I used to, I did, I used to squeeze it. But I decided after doing that and then having to do it again and again and again, that I stopped doing it. And, I, and what I would do is I would start with 058 gauge, right? 058. And then I would run a bar for however long I'd get use out of my bar for falling steady daily. Falling, there's nothing harder on bars than falling. Five days a week, six and a half hours a day, going, going, going. There's nothing harder on it. Not that I've experienced so, so friends, I totally got sidetracked there. I don't know if you noticed that. I was going to tell you what I did. So I, you've heard this before, but this is a great, great thing to do if you're, if you're on saws steady, what, which I used to be. I would start with 058. You can even start with 050. And then the bar spreads. If you keep your bars ground, what will happen is they'll spread over time. The rails will open up. Guys would squeeze them and pound them and get them back. Well, I did that for a long time, and then I said, forget it. I just grabbed the 058 chain, a used 058 chain, slide it in the 050 bar, slides right in. Your, it's like your rails are straight again. And then you could even grab an 063 and slide it in the 05. Do you understand what I'm saying? Go bigger in chain as your bar gets worn and sloppy. Oh, huge trick. The first thing to do, especially for long bars, friends, people don't, don't do this. Look down the bar. First of all, make sure it's straight, right? That's the first thing. Now, get yourself a, you know what works good for cleaning your rails out, friends? Is actually one of those, one of those, uh, what you would call it there. You do this, look. This just is just a silly little thing, but look at this. Look what's in here. See this? See all this goop? Look at it. Okay? Get rid of all that stuff. Just, just get rid of it. First thing first. There's a lot in here, actually. There we go. So this is, this is how we do bar maintenance. I usually use an old kitchen knife. There, you can see I got this side once and forgot the other side. So there we go. So that's that's one. Then you look at your rails. Take a look at your bar rails. Is there a ditch in them? Is there is there a little, you know? Now, friends, listen. I didn't start out having all the goodies and all the tools, okay? I just didn't have it. You want to know how I did my bar rails? I'll show you. And you can do the same. This actually has a little bit of wear. This one, not a lot, but it does. They make a tool. I don't have it here. I don't have it here. But they make a tool that you put on there. It's just a right angle to the bar, right? Like this, friends, okay? A right angle, just boom. And you go like this and it, it gets your rails. And it's a good thing. Yeah, there, there's just starting. This is a good example, actually. This is just starting. But here's what I do, okay? And I've done it for years. I don't do it anymore because I got myself a bar grinder. Friends, I'm not joking. 
Get yourself a flat file. Lay it on there. Go on a 45. Hey, it's barbaric. Yes, not everybody's got the fancy dancy tools. Let's be honest. But I can see the shine. It's nice to have light. Okay, so you'll see it. You'll see it change. You you want to be level, I guess. You want to be level on your on your so, but this helps. I'm telling you. You can already see it. It's not the greatest way, but it will help. And this will get any burrs off, okay? But you gotta stay, you wanna stay fairly level, friends, okay? So I did that for years. But as I advanced along my life, what I would do is get a, get a, I don't care if it's a sander. Friends, seriously, get a sander. Because I know not everybody has these freaking tools. Get yourself one of those sanders that, you know, that you can do a, a, a right angle on. I'll put this on. See this? It's a it's a deck. Where's my rail? Right here. There it is. Boom. That's how that goes. Okay? There we go. It's a right angle. If you want to check it, check it. Get out your square and check it. It's a right angle. Put your freaking bar on there like this and go. Right? And I'll show you how I would do it with this tool. Let's look at the rails, okay? See? Okay? Watch. This is how this goes. Okay, check this out. See the rails now? See? Watch the other side. Check this out. See? See, there's little burrs and stuff there. Not this side. Because I just ground it. Okay? Okay. Now, once you get inside and you've just you've got true rails now cuz you you figured it out, you did it. It's just about getting them get the rails level again so that the chain can ride even on there. Take your flat file, go like this and go like this now. See this? And just get rid of birds. Just like this. Only takes a minute. Just like that. Flip this over to the other side. See this? Feeling good. There we go. Because you don't want to catch any burrs in the wood. Now you feel that like this now. Feel this. Anything catching? No, it's good. Careful you don't cut yourself wide open. There we go, bar maintenance. Now we've got true rails, we're dead square. And the, the chain, I don't think I have any chain here. I would show you if I did. There's our rails. There they are. Look at, freshly ground. See them? Let's get off of there a bit. There we go, let's get back to this one. Shiklank, there. See the rails? There's no burr, there's no ditch, they're beautiful. Now, okay, let's get this chain and let's show you what the chain does, how it rides. See that, see the driver? See that driver? That chain, friends, that chain rides right there, 
right on this thing, right there. See where my thumb is there? It rides right there on that thing I'm clipping my, see? So it goes like this. So if one side, if one side's foobar, right? Like, like one side's down this way or that way, or there's a ditch worn out. That's why you flip your bars, okay? Flip your bar. So that's how the chain goes in there. Look. Hey. Okay. See? So if one side's foo bar, right? So there you go, friends. That's how that goes. It rides right on there, right on there, on these side plates, the bottom of those side plates. So you'll notice that they're actually, sorry, hey, see the driver? The driver goes in and it rides. So there we go, a nice, Fancy dancy bar, a nice lightweight organ still mount, which I'll use on my Husky or my, my still 500i. So there we are. And a freshly ground chain, which is semi full, semi skip, which is right there. Now I got a nice setup right there with a fresh ground chain that is actually, if I, if I don't say so myself, even even that uh, still kind of goofy. Yeah. <laughs> There's my grind. I like my side plate to be about f maybe five degrees back or so, kind of like that, you know. It's. There, there's, there it is there. You see, you try and find that line right there. It's tough. The lighting is tough. See that? I go up underneath my top plate more than most guys do. See that? There it is. See how I'm quite a ways under my top plate there? <laughs> a square grind is not for everybody. I can, like, uh, I've learned to square by hand, and I will still square by hand, but friends, you, you, the Symingtons are unbeatable. I, I don't care who you are. You, you can't. It, it, friends, when you're, you know, when you're, it's, it's like CNC porting or anything. The human hand, I can square file hand by hand and I will probably get better at it, but I do enjoy my round filing. I can get my round filing gotten pretty darn good. It's all in the filing, friends. I can't stress it enough. I sound like a broken record when I talk about this stuff, but any cutter will tell you the same thing. Any cutter. If you like, it, it, exhaust helps immensely, friends, with these saws nowadays, with the EPA and everything. It, 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 it just does. It helps the saw breathe and, and gives throttle response. Uh, I'm going cutting, I think. I love these, friends. Work hard. Be honest. I like to share these little things. People ask me questions. Hey, how do you maintain your bars? That's how I did it. The going by hand... Not the greatest, not the greatest, but when you were broke and living from day to day, that's what you do, you make do. So I would just get the main, like I would wear my bars right down, there'd be a ditch and I'd get, I'd get it. But if you're not square, which you won't be, let's be honest, you, you won't be totally, but you can get it pretty good. Find a straight edge, make something. I love you, friends. Work hard, be honest, and be kind.
Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for shopping at buckandbellyray.com in the store. We got some new designs there. We got axe handles coming next week. We love yous. We appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one.